There is a Rabbi Wallerstein, a very famous guy in New York. He used to be an eighth grade Rebbe. And when he was in eighth grade, there was a boy in the yeshiva that got kicked out. His name is Howard. Rabbi Wallerstein was at a wedding of his boy's brother. Suddenly he sees Howie, who was not in his class, and he says, how are you, how are you doing? His head's shaven. Unfortunately, because he got thrown out, he got into Buddha, and he had tattoos all over him. And he starts talking to the rabbi, and the rabbi says, I feel so bad that you got kicked out of school. You can see he went off the derech a little bit, and he introduces him to his Chinese girlfriend, she came to his brother's wedding. So the rabbi grabs him and says, come, let's have the first dance with your brother. He's coming out of the Yichun group. So they have a dance together, and the rabbi tells him, you know, in New York, I have a class every Tuesday night. Why don't you come? I'll let you speak. Tell us about Buddha. Let's hear about it. So Howie's excited, and Howie comes to the class. He starts talking about the ma'alot of believing in Buddha. So the rabbi says to him, if he's so good, why is he so fat? You know? Anyway, he starts, he invites him to come every Tuesday night to the class, and he does. Within a few months, he drops the girl. And Baruch Hashem, he's on his way back. And the rabbi says to him, I think you should go to Israel. I'm going to take you to Israel. I'll select the yeshiva for you. And he goes to Israel, and he's enjoying his learning, and he calls the rabbi after a few months. Rabbi, a lot of my friends are getting engaged. I want to come home, and I want to start looking into Shaduchim. Rabbi says, you know what? You're doing so well over there. Why would you want to disrupt it? He says, stay there. Give it a few more months. He calls him back a couple of months later. He goes, Rabbi, I met a nice girl, very nice girl, from a traditional home. Okay, not so misorati, regular, orthodox. And she doesn't know anything about my past, Rabbi. You know, even in 95 degree weather, I wear turtlenecks. So she doesn't see any of my tattoos. What should I do? He says, don't worry. If it's meant, it's going to go. So after he's going out with her for a while, one night he says to her, I have something serious to, have to tell you. She thinks he's going to tell her, would you marry me? He rolls up his sleeves, opens his buttons a little bit, and he shows her the tattoos. And she says, I don't see the tattoos. I see the neshama. I see your soul. I would love to be your wife. And when it's the right one, Hashem sees to it that it works. That's key.